everybody, welcome to RVs of America and today we are bringing you a very important video. We are talking about delamination in the Black Series units and how you can fix it at home. This cabinetry piece right here, what we've done is you can see the delamination here and I just noticed this morning that we're starting to get a little bit here in the corner. This is what you're going to want to do if you want to fix this at home. And so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take the cabinet off. You've got the piano hinges right here. We've just taken out all of the screws and removed the cabinet so that we can actually work on it properly, uh, not while it's installed. It's just gonna be a lot harder to do that. Definitely gonna re recommend taking it off of your unit so that you can use all of these tools here that I have. So let me actually talk about what I've brought to be able to work on this unit. First, we've got wood glue. Uh, this here is, is some Loctite wood glue. The nice thing about this is with clamps, it will set in 10 minutes. Uh, we ran out of Loctite, so we've got some more wood glue here that we'll be trying out today. This one takes 30 minutes to set. So this one's obviously just a little bit faster. These right here, these aren't something that you just come by. We have a lot of metal at the shop because of everything we're doing here, but a ruler would probably work or something long and flat. So once I have it glued, I'm gonna be able to clamp it down to make sure that it's spread evenly and not just at the spots that this is clamped. So having a ton of clamps as well, over here you can see I've got a, a ton of clamps that we'll be using just all around the unit to make sure we have it nice and tight. This right here, Again, this is not something that's super common. Uh, there's probably other household items that you'll be able to use. Once we have the glue inside, I'm just gonna be able to spread the glue and flatten out the veneer with this tool right here. And uh, this one, I'll show you right now. So we're just gonna dive in and start fixing this panel here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up this glue here. And we're gonna do a, a gravity fill for the glue so that the glue itself will run down instead of me trying to shove the glue in with a tool or bend this. Uh, something to be aware of with this veneer is that it can be brittle. And so if you're trying to pull this super hard, you run a risk of creating a new crack or breaking the veneer. So you just wanna be really gentle when you're, when you're dealing with this and that's why I'm gonna do a, a gravity fill here with this uh, wood glue. And we're gonna be super, super generous and maybe I can get you guys to be able to see what's going on over here while I'm filling this up. You wanna be really generous with the glue and we're just gonna go all the way across because we are cracking all the way. So we're just gonna pour a ton in there because I want this to drop all the way down. I'm gonna move over here. And then I think over here, I'm just gonna try and spread it over there. I don't wanna pull this too hard. I'm gonna take some of the glue and just try and spread it. All right. So just be super, super generous with the glue. And that's where this guy comes into play. And I'm gonna come over here, see if I can get you guys to see the inside a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to take this little tool here um, and I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna spread it all over the top piece. Make sure it's evenly spread out on the top piece and on the bottom piece. If you can see that a lot more spread out. And I'm gonna get this to go down as far as I can. And up here, I'm gonna spread it out. I actually wanna get some more glue. I've got some spots that need some more. So I'm gonna, this right here, there's a bunch of exposed wood that I wanna get some more glue on here. So like I said, you just wanna be really, really generous with this glue to just get it all over. I wanna get some more. Hopefully I can get some more over in this spot back here. 
I'm gonna just pump a ton in here and try and spread it all over here. All right. So we're gonna keep spreading this all over the wood. And we wanna make sure all of the corners have lots of glue um, on the edges, because this is where it starts is up in the edges. So you wanna make sure all of everything on an edge just has lots of glue. And I'd like to get as much over here as we can. All right, looks like we're doing pretty good right here. Okay, <clears throat> I think we're ready to move on to the next phase. So, after you have generously applied your glue, next, I am going to take this guy, and I want to spread this glue out. So I've got some glue down here that I wanna move to the back. So I'm just simply moving the glue that's inside into areas that are harder to access. You can see now it's starting to come out the top. I'm just getting it applied on there really well. This is exactly what we want. Okay, this looks pretty good. I think we've got it spread out everywhere we want. So now that I've got my glue in here and I've, I've spread it out, I'm getting ready to put this down, but I don't want to get a ton of glue on here. So I'm going to, ideally you want to get a paper towel, get some water on it, and then just kind of wipe this off here so that I'm just not getting the glue on uh, this piece right here. So now I'm going to take this. So we get ready to clamp this down. And I'm gonna grab some clamps here and we're gonna start clamping this baby down. Now, Tony, my instructor who taught me how to do this, I definitely would have just used two clamps, but uh, he likes to use about 30, so we're gonna compromise and use like six. Okay, this looks really good. So, we've got, we've got our glue in there, we've clamped it down, we've spread it out. Now with our uh, Loctite here, we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and come back Take these off, clean it up, and uh, I'll let you see what the finished product looks like. We'll see you in 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. We're now gonna take the clamps off and take a look at what it's looking like. Bit of a mess here. Okay. So we've got a bunch of excess glue that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of it with a damp paper towel. This Loctite is water soluble. You can clean it up with a uh, damp paper towel. So that is what we're doing here to get rid of all this excess glue here. I'm just gonna clean this all up here. Grab another paper towel. I'm gonna go back and get some more water on these paper towels, but this is on there really nicely. We have fixed our cabinet. Again, I've got some glue right here. I'm just gonna go get some more water to take that off, but I have taken care of the peeling veneer, which for our Black Series family 
is uh, worth its weight in gold. So, um, now what I didn't talk about earlier was this, and I wanna talk about the significance of the iron real quick. So when we were originally fixing the veneer on the cabinetry, um, it is a heat activated adhesive that they come with stock. And so what we were doing for multiple purposes, we would use an iron on the straight onto the cabinetry, right on top of the veneer to activate the adhesive that was underneath. Then after we were done, we would do the same thing. We would put this on, we would put the clamps on, let it cool down and uh, that was working. The issue is, is that over time, it was coming back off. The areas that we were using the iron on to reapply the adhesive, it was peeling back. And so this is 2.0, uh, is now we're using wood glue to make sure that it stays. The adhesive that was used on the uh, veneer is insufficient. It's, it's not doing the trick. And truthfully, some units have been around for multiple years and they haven't had any issues. Some are around for multiple months and have every cabinet delaminating. So your situation may be different, but the bottom line is what you would use this for now would be situations like this. Here, I just noticed that we have a little bit peeling up here on the corner. It might be hard to see, but this, it's only a matter of time before this peels up more and more. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna try and use this little guy here to put some glue in there and then clamp it down. But in scenarios where you're just not able to get access to it, and instead of me trying to peel this back, if I try to peel this back, I run the risk of breaking the panel itself, running like just snapping it, it's brittle. So what we would do in order to loosen this up is I would actually get this iron on to about a medium heat and run it here for a little bit to loosen all of the adhesive in this area so that I can pull back the veneer and put some glue in here. That is why you might use a, an iron when you're trying to fix the cabinetry in your trailer. If you guys have any other methods or tricks or things that you've done to fix the veneer on the cabinetry, let us know. I hope this can be super helpful for all of you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.